Hi, Claire. Steve. Um, welcome back again. And uh, this time, uh, we'd like to move the conversation away from the art, the pure art side of your life, if you like, to to the gallery. And I know a lot of um, our viewers will be interested in hearing what you've got to say. But to start off with, could you just tell us what the best things are about being a gallery manager? Well, first of all, it's being around the art. It's being around the art all day. It's getting to chat with the artists. It's having a real tangible experience with art. I know when I was younger, I wanted a career in the art world. I just knew that was what I wanted to hope for. And being a gallery manager has allowed me to make make this a permanent job for myself and also have um, have art in my life all the time and have a huge variety, right? Because I think being a gallery manager is, especially because this is an independent gallery and we're, you know, we're, we're running a lot of different things at once. So we're doing a huge variety of day-to-day -day activities. And I, I think that's the best thing is this just being around the art, having the variety, getting to chat to artists, learning so much about it and constantly improving just my knowledge of art and seeing, seeing so many beautiful things. I know, yeah, uh, brilliant. Uh, um, uh, that's what I hoped you'd say. <laughs> but I, I would observe as well, because because um, the view might I, 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 you know, we we know each other, and um, you, it's a busy job, isn't it? You know, you've got a lot on, um, and the the gallery is open uh, five days a week, six days a week, yeah, and um, and it's busy. And of course, you're not just doing the gallery work. There's all the other exhibitions, um, art fairs. Um, so you're, you wear a lot of hats, um, all of which are, I think are interesting in their own right. You know, I've, uh, you know, you've done, I've, I've seen you at the Affordable Art Fair and um, you're curating your own work in the exhibition space uh, in the gallery. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a great thing. I, I um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see you're so buoyant about it because <laughs> i know you're very busy Thank you. how, how do you get the balance between and this is all, i know this is a very it's a tricky thing but how do you get the balance between um all the activities that go on in the gallery with your with doing your own art how how do you sort of you know get that fix yeah so it's super interesting because the gallery itself is it's my day it's my day to day so i'm doing a lot of the i mean for example a, a typical day for me would be I'll come in we'll deal with shipping logistics for example so we'll get a lot of shipping all over the world um, we'll have a client come in of a client meeting a couple of artist meetings perhaps new work sending back some work um, and then then I'll clock off for the day and I'll go home and I'll do my own painting so I really keep it quite separate so I'll I'll yeah. come home start I'll start painting at maybe seven o'clock eight o'clock I'll eat while painting and I'll just paint until 11 o'clock at night, go to sleep, wake up the next day, do it all again. So it's just a real, it's for me, I've tried to really distinguish it by my, my, uh, my practical art. So the art I do myself and really the, the more mental side of the art, which is all the gallery and thinking around art theory and you know what artists we're going to take and how we're going to space the, you know, create the room. There's a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of distinction there. It's just my practical and my, my cerebral yeah. art. Yeah, no, that's great. It's um, yeah, lovely to hear. And I imagine it'll be quite interesting for for people perhaps who who haven't had many dealings with galleries just to 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 hear that and just understand a little bit more about it. I think that's um, yeah, it's fascinating. Uh, thanks so much, Claire. I thought that was uh, that was very interesting, and um, hopefully it will have been to people watching at home as well. As ever, if you are at home watching then um, and that was useful to you, please consider giving us a subscribe or a follow on Instagram and YouTube. We're at uh, art.friends.coffee on both. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much, Claire. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.